Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on Cycle Fanatics. I have the 1290 Super Adventure R. We just actually got back. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. We actually left New York State, um, 4.30 a.m. to head back home. We are up there doing a uh, adventure trek. We actually did about 700 miles on the Northeast BDR. If you guys aren't familiar with BDR, um, it's back country discovery routes. Um, we did a portion of the Northeast uh, route uh, started in Hancock, New York and went north into New York State. We did about 600 miles. Day was cut a little short due to the storm coming in um, from the south. I guess it was a hurricane and tropical storm. So we decided just to be on a safe side. Some guys that got there have silver back there uh some guys that actually got there didn't uh, have the proper tires um they were really uh in in some dangerous moments they didn't have the proper tires they were slipping and sliding all over the place um and with the storm coming in we decided to cut the trip a day short but it was absolutely fantastic you're definitely going to want to check that video out uh that video will probably be coming out in about a week or two because i have a lot a lot of footage to edit so anyway today haven't posted in a couple days because I've been gone. So today we actually have drag specialties seat that came in um, while I was gone. Uh, but before we dive into this video, do me a favor, guys. Go to my channel, click that subscribe button, and click the bell. So this way you guys get notified of all upcoming new videos. All right, guys, and do me a favor. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's take this seat off unbox this bad boy right there and dive into this video all right let's take a look at it do not use blades waiting for the seat for a couple weeks it was actually on back order oh look at that Look at this bad boy. Drag Specialties uh, Predator 3. And I went with the silver diamond stitching here. I think you could get it in black, red, possibly gold, but I chose uh, the silver. Uh, just going over the seat quickly, it is, it is high quality. It's a, it looks like a high quality seat. made in the usa and i think that is gonna look awesome on that so let me take that off super easy all right guys so anyway i did the installation super easy uh just take the strap off and uh the little nut on the back seat comes off this one pops in let me show you guys how it looks it looks absolutely amazing
All right, so let me, I'm gonna hop on the bike and just tell you guys, because look, I just get back. I just got done riding 600 plus miles in the rain and mud, because it didn't stop raining up in New York State. I come back and it's raining again, yes. So definitely check out the video in a week or two about the BDR Adventure Trek. It was super, super cool. A lot of beautiful scenery. Um, first impressions, first impressions about the seat. I mean, it's comfortable. It's not as comfortable um, like the stock seat, but it's definitely more narrow than the stock seat. You could definitely feel it. Your legs kind of go in further towards the tank. Um, but uh, I will sacrifice a little bit of comfort to have the look. Uh, I know a lot of you guys wouldn't do that. Um, strictly, I guess, uh, you probably stick with comfort, but um, it's not bad. It's comfortable, but it's definitely not as comfortable as the stock one. But like I said, I'll sacrifice a little bit for the look. Um, I love how it looks, just to cut out, quality made, beautiful silver stitching. Um, and yeah, and I'll tell you one thing, you have to take the backrest off because this will not, this seat will not support the backrest. Um, but I'll tell you one thing, because the seat is so cut, chopped down and the passenger seat is up super high, it actually feels, and I'm not kidding you, it actually feels like there is a backrest there. So I'm really happy with that. So you do have um, some back support and you definitely have, you could push the bike back with your legs because you're literally your ass is probably, I'm gonna say six inches or seven inches down below the, let me show you guys. See how far down it goes. So you do get like a little lower lumbar support on your back. Um, not as much obviously as the backrest, but it'll, it'll be fine. Plus with this seat, you could see the side panels more and you could see the frame, the black frame here, plus the fender more because it, it comes in tighter and narrower. But I love the quality is definitely there. Beautiful, beautiful diamond, silver diamond stitching here. Beautiful. Quality seat. You could see right there how low the seat sits. And you have, you do have a lot of back support, which I'm super happy about. All right, guys, so I'm waiting for a couple more pieces for the back to really tie this in. I have a nice emblem right there, nice decal that I just picked up. Distressed American flag, veteran, so I like that. So I'm waiting for two more pieces for the back, should be in maybe in about a couple days to a week. And then it's gonna tie the bike in nicely. Um, I'm really loving it. I can't wait to go out as soon as this weather freaking clears up to uh, give you guys some more great ride videos. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't yet, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And we'll see you guys on the next video on Cycle Fanatics. Take care guys.